Hey guys, I'm Sanjay. Let's create our own help package today. So first I'll create the um, our help project, which is a test app. Let's add it to our Visual Studio to add a config map to it uh, to see how our web page will be looking for our Nginx server. Because by default, Helm creates an Nginx server when you are creating a test app. I'll go to test app, templates, let's create a new file. So it's a config map uh, with your nginx config which will show you the web page It's a simple Nginx configuration uh, that you can find out on Google. Uh -huh. And this one will add it as a Nginx config to show our web page. and listen to port 80. And the web page will show like That's a massive energy. See you there. Okay, let's save it. And let's uh, this one is a volume in our deployment. So I'll add a volume mount here for the deployment. So let's mount it to um, the path uh, which is etc nginx and nginx.config conf and there'll be file as nginx.conf. Add the volume. So the name will be config 
config map uh, that we created which was nginx config So that's how our templates look like now. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and apply this one. I think it's all look good. Let's install this chart to see if it, everything is working as it's supposed to be. loop let's see about deployment okay let's see what's going on here looks good here so no issues with the container starting okay so that's the issue because it's a uh, the name of the worker strand is wrong so let's fix the config map uh, yeah worker connection so that there is a typo install it again okay let's upgrade it okay uh, still in the crash loop I think I might have to um, delete the previously previous running pod. Yeah, let's delete it and let's see the new one which comes up. service up and running all right Alright, our web page is running. 
So I port forwarded that service to my local port uh, uh, from 80 to 882 just to make sure, just to see if uh, our web page is running that we started. So our Nginx is up and running, so our help chart is good. Now let's go to our GitHub. Now we have to uh, create our own uh, chart repository. So I'll go to my repository and I'll create a new repository. And make sure guys keep it public because um, if you keep it private you won't be able to deploy your charts um, because you need a paid version if you need to have a private Helm repository in GitHub. So I'm in the Helm directory, let's clone our Helm chat repo. Let's package our let's package our Helm chart that we created before that we are going to deploy. Uh, all right. Let's create a branch uh, with the name GH Pages. So that's the branch that uh, GitHub actually look for in order to create your pages. Pages, it means your chart repository. Now let's index it. Let's add everything and commit. Don't worry about the TTY, you don't really have to do it. So let's push the new branch that we have created. All right. Let's check our repo now. I think you'll have a, if you'll go to setting pages, uh, you'll see that our, our repo is, our chat repo is created. So that's your um, personal repository guys, uh, where you can uh, deploy multiple Helm repositories and you can use it by adding your repo to your, um, to your local or anyone else can add your repository and then, then use your charts to deploy anything in Kubernetes. All right. Oh yeah, let's move our app to, let's move our app to our, um, our chat repo. commit these changes and let's index it again so 
now you'll index it you step is added now we'll have to commit the changes again see if it's already deployed so that's our repo path and that's our yaml okay it's not deployed i guess mm. so the process might be running in, in background it triggers the action job so might be completing that action that uh, yeah yeah see so it's still running the action so when it this action is finished our chart will be deployed okay that's good to go all right our helm chart is deployed we see the index, it's created. And the path for the, for your new chart is, you see that HTTPS, Sanjit Tiwari Sanjay dot GitHub dot IO dot Helm chart repo test app 010.tgz. So, so now let's add our new uh, repo that we have created, the chart that we have deployed in GitHub. Yep. So the new okay, that's created. Helm chart repo that you see there in the list. So you are able to add your own open source chart, your own public chart. So let's install it. Okay, what's falling? Okay, config maps to the, oh yeah, I tested it before, so that's why I still have the config map. Okay, yeah, you still need to update the repo. First update the repo. still have that previous previous one running keep on doing the mistakes
delete I forgot to delete that again let's delete the previous install that I did because I, I'll have some config maps there now install again voila here we go so you created your own helm package you created a, you pushed those helm charts to your own repository and yeah you're able to add those as your repo and now you're able to create the deployment out of it so here you go and you can share your helm um, chart repo with anyone and who they'll be able to create an nginx deployment with it let's port forward to test it yeah cool so that's it guys you have your helm rep public helm chart repos repository where you can deploy your own stuff thank you very much i think this is it from my side thank you